Hello everyone, Sam from Cinch here. Behind me, I've got two titans of the small hot hatch segment. I've got the Ford Fiesta ST and the Hyundai i20N, its latest contender. Now, this car has been trying to steal this car's crown all year. I'm not entirely sure it's managed to do that just yet. Out on the road, the Fiesta ST is just too good, too hard to challenge. But today, we're on track, a place where this car and its warranty, which covers you on track days, might just edge ahead. These things are ultra closely aligned. The i20N starts at £24,995, while the Fiesta in top grade ST3 form costs from £24,580, although you can, of course, shave a few grand off that with the STs on Cinch. As for their performance stats... On paper, they're not far off indistinguishable. Where the Fiesta ST has a turbocharged 1.53 cylinder producing 200 horsepower, the i20N has a turbocharged 1.6 litre 4 pumping out 204 horses. Both produce over 200 pound foot of torque from a little over 1500 revs and each can crack 62 miles per hour in just over 6 seconds and edge over 140 miles an hour where it's safe to do so. Both the Ford and Hyundai use passive non-adjustable suspension, get sticky performance tyres and come with multiple driving modes including one specifically for track use. Oh, and they each tip the scales at around 1.2 tonnes. Only the standard fit limited slip differential of the i20N gives it a key advantage against the Fiesta ST we're using here which doesn't have Ford's optional equivalent between its front wheels to boost traction. Although, as you're about to see, that doesn't exactly peg it back at Rockingham. It's so good to be back in a Hyundai i20N. This brand, still fairly new to the game of making performance machinery, yet they feel like they're so established. I mean, this i20N follows the i30N, of course. And I mean, I would actually say in many ways, <laughs> I would say in many ways, it not only carries over the flavour of that car, but it actually adds to the flavour. It's got a whole new character, totally different, of course, in setup, engine, all of the, the details are changed. But it builds on the character in a nice, familiar way. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about it being serious and the car's just sliding around on me. It's, it's still a bit damp out here. But fair enough, you know, people to have driven the Fiesta ST and this i20 and head to head before on the road they've obviously come to many of them have come to the conclusion anyway that they think the Fiesta is still just that little bit more fun still still the car that's going to leave you grinning the quickest and for the longest and I wouldn't argue with that I would say that I think perhaps certain roads and certain scenarios suit each car <laughs> ah yeah so uh, while I was yapping on about the i20N and Fiesta ST's comparative strengths, our in-car microphone decided it wants to go after microphone heaven and stop recording. But you probably won't be surprised here that my memory of that drive is pretty vivid. So here goes. Despite its size and youthful, almost thuggish appearance, it turns out that the i20N on track is really rather serious. Sure, it'll happily get sideways, or uh, very sideways, but ultimately the little high end I feels like it just wants to go fast. The engine pulls hard from low down, it doesn't beg to be revved out, but it's more than capable of hauling you from bend to bend and making good use of that slick six-speed manual gearbox and clever limited slip differential. On the public road, the i20N, just like the Fiesta ST, can be a little firm riding over bumps, but with speed on track, it just flows, kissing curbs and hunkering down around bends like Ash Sutton's cinch-sponsored BTCC racing car. It is enormously confidence-inspiring and begs to be thrashed. The front end puts the power down tremendously, even in greasy conditions, while the brakes take an absolute pounding. Once you're dialed into its flow, the i20N is absolutely terrific, even if you sense that it wants to get on with the job of going fast more than being silly. Not that it can't do that as well. Honestly, as far as sub £25,000 track day capable machines go, this thing feels really, really capable. But let's not forget, the Fiesta ST isn't exactly a slouch itself, quite the opposite actually. No matter how many times I try and resist getting into a Fiesta ST and not laughing my head off, I can't. This car is hilarious. I mean, and I mean that with comparing it to cars worth three, four, five times the price. Doesn't matter what, what price bracket you put this car in, it will always entertain. That's why we've seen it go up over the years. Plenty of titles have put this car up against far more expensive machinery and it's it's ranked with them in their end of year tests and of course much of that has to do with just how chuckable it is it's not trying to be the racing car for the road it's not trying to be a miniature Porsche it's just being I don't know what it's being it's just being an absolute loon <laughs> 
We loved the previous Ford Fiesta ST and we were worried, I certainly was worried, and I think a few of us were, that the 1.5 litre turbocharged three cylinder engine, we thought, is it gonna have, is it gonna give the car the same character? Is it gonna be as exciting? And it really is. I mean, it's, it's just such a fantastic motor on the road. Fun circuit. The noise is really nice. The burble from the exhaust and that hum from the engine. It's a really nice tone and actually one that really does leave the Hyundai, even with its pops and crackles from that exhaust, just leaves the Hyundai's engine feeling a little less memorable. The Fiesta ST is tremendous on the road and on the circuit, yeah, it's still fantastic. I mean, the circuit's drier now than it was when I was having a bit of a play earlier. Earlier, it was just sliding everywhere. It was hilarious. But now you can start start to play with the balance instead of just going into a corner going, yeah, I'm just gonna get a big slide on. You can start to say, right, I'm gonna use that adjustability and I'm gonna go sideways, albeit onto the curb. <laughs> it's just so funny. I mean, I try and be serious, I really do. But I just love driving this Fiesta. As its makers intended, no doubt, absolutely no doubt. You don't accidentally set a car up to cock a rear wheel as enthusiastically as this, or to, ro to rotate on corner entry as happily as this. This was all part of the plan and I'm so glad it was. It's really important to note though, as well, because this is the used car in the test and the Hyundai is the newer car, of course, this car comes in, you know, as the older machine. There's a newer version coming out, albeit only slightly updated, but there is a newer version of the Fiesta which is coming out almost imminently. And that means the car I'm driving here, an ST3, without the performance pack, I should say, so it doesn't have the limited slip diff, or well, that's not really, it's not really caused me any issues today. <laughs> This car comes, you know, not with not so many bells and whistles as the younger Hyundai. I mean, the Hyundai's got more digital dash, more digital instrument cluster. It's got more information on screen. It's more impressive dash, to be fair, with all of the displays you get in end mode. When you stick this in its race mode or even in its sport mode, very little changes in your display. It just changes the way the car reacts. It slightly alters some of the settings, for example, how, <laughs> how fruity the exhaust sounds. But otherwise, this is just a one-size-fits-all hot hatch. I like that though, I like that. Rest assured, we tried to put both the Fiesta ST and i20N up against the clock for a definitive, which is faster answer, but both the weather and light were against us. That gives us something to revisit in the future, although even without recorded times to go by, the differences in these cars are clear enough. I'd urge you not to read too much into that obvious difference in pace. These laps were filmed 20 or so minutes apart and the conditions really had changed. But one thing's clear, the Fiesta is an absolute maniac and the i20N is a bit serious. I reckon I know which one would put a smile on your face more often. Here's a clue, it's the red one. But I also know which one I'd choose if I wanted to trouble Porsche Caymans and the like on a track day at Silverstone. Whatever your thoughts though, really we should just be celebrating the fact that for the first time in a long time, the Fiesta ST has a sub 25,000 pound weight and can really run it close for class honors. Clearly, the glory days of the 200 horsepower hot hatch aren't over just yet. Long may that continue. If you liked what you just watched, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Rest assured we have more videos like this and others in the pipeline, so it's probably best to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification button to keep up. See you soon.